So I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. I look forward to it every year. And there's this subgenre of Christmas horror movies. So today I'm going to watch the 2020 Creepshow holiday special. I have seen the 80s Creepshow movie. If you want to check out that reaction video on my channel as well. I'm kind of expecting the same anthology storyline. I'm not too sure if that's what will be the case. Um, I don't know the cast. I don't know the plot. I don't know anything like that. I really enjoyed the 80s version. I love the campy story storytelling so I'm looking forward to seeing some of that but a holiday version um, thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch please comment below and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content I'm curious to see if there'll be like any animated uh, scenes in this one, like tie into the comic book at all. What? Chewbacca? He's becoming Chewbacca? Okay, good. Yeah, the comic book. We saw that in the original. I really like that. Shapeshifters Anonymous. Okay. Hi. Sorry, sir. This is a private meeting. Oh, Anna Camp's in this? Okay, I recognize her name. Just come inside, please. Sorry, can't let you in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got cookies and donuts. That's always a winning method, yes. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I believe Anna Camp was in Pitch Perfect. My stool. Little white stones and fluff in his uh, poopsies. Oh my. No, it's a no for me. Yeah, what do you- oh, so uncomfortable. Just put this here. Yeah, no big deal. Just a bucket of my own poop. Santa? Yeah, there we go. I knew it. Anything new or exotic? I started three months ago. Intermittent? Two or three times. And the same, like, color, the red-blue color palette we saw in the original one as well. I think I found something. Talk! All right, hang on. <sighs> Merry Christmas. We have a coat button. Uh, piece of zipper. <laughs> just all the things that would like be in your pockets. They just pulled out of his butt. Oh my. Oh, I don't I don't want to look at it. No, thank you. Thanks. Well, had to end up inside you one way or another. Hello. If there's anything serious. All right. Uh, uh, Stop eating buttons. Things I find are gross. He's a werewolf? I, I, I actually turn into a cheetah. <laughs> okay, there's different options. Interesting. Because, you know, I'm a school teacher. You know, and we expel cheetahs. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah, let's see ya. Lobster. There was a sex offender, a, a thief. Another was a defense attorney. So he's a vigilante werewolf. He only kills bad guys. Wicked over the good. The creatures inside of us, we, we just, we find evil tastier. Oh my, didn't know that was an option. I change into someone vastly self-interested and I talk incessantly about the worthless minutia going on in my life. All right, okay, that's an uncomfortable intro. But if you can't figure out what you do when you change, how do you figure out what you've changed into? That's a great question. That's not how bow-legged, that's not what the term means. She was an elderly woman and she had a walker. Okay. Oh my. Do you feel anything? This is how you test if you're a werewolf? You rub sage on your hand? Try this. Ah! Okay, we got a winner. I inherited a recessive gene from my mother, Shelly. I've been a very... Shelly, and he's a turtle. Aha! Were you cursed by a gypsy recently? No, of course. Wait. Wait, I was visiting a gypsy recently. ...custody of her daughter after locking her in a closet for a week without food or water. For JB and... Oh, it sent us at the crime scene. Oh, thanks, Anne. In other news, Christmas is right around the corner and Santa's army... Yeah, that's interesting. How would you know that you're a werewolf unless, yeah, like you said, it keeps waking up in strange places? Oh, my. Covered in blood. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he's eating them? Ew. <laughs> he ate the dog? 
Oh no. I get to eat any faculty member that pisses me off. Okay, okay, using your powers to your own personal advantage, okay. <sighs> eat her dog. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting because usually when we've seen werewolves in movies before, they're bitten by a werewolf. This time he is cursed. But in the meantime, you might want to get yourself a nice sturdy leash, though. You know what? Lock him in a book closet. Everybody join hands. Yeah, I like that they mentioned American Werewolf in London. Repeat after me. I, state your name. I. And how the password to get in was Landis, which I'm guessing is a nod to John Landis. I agree to do my best not to devour any nice people. That's a good goal to have. Yeah, that's a great, great plan. To avoid Kris Kringle, the dreaded Santa Claus, and his many evil helpers. Why do they hate Santa? Santa Claus, the mythical jolly character loved by millions. He kills shapeshifters. Oh, why? Put Bob in his place. God granted one of Bob's enemies, Christopher, a red suit of him. Oh my. That looks like uh, something from Alien. Oh my. <laughs> That's how the reindeer are made. <laughs> Chris, son of Kringle. Bob and Christopher fought. <laughs> That's crazy. Jesus. Oh, there's gotta be hundreds of them. All the Santas. <laughs> That's such a funny, interesting um, history of Santa. Yeah, they definitely like updated the comic book style to make it look more modern, which is to be expected given it's a newer release. Personally, I like like the 80s style better, but I understand why they did it. He said something about it. I wish that was the history of Santa we all grew up with. That's way more interesting. Merry Christmas. I mean, a lot gorier and disturbing, but you know. The only way we die is old age or beheaded. Well, that answers that question then. Red suits of Kevlar, so ancient things. Yippee mother. Of course, of course they have to throw in that Christmas reference, yeah. Oh, it's a Santa massacre! Oh my god! Oh! Naughty boy! Hey, Santa, I've got some milk and cookies for you. Oh, well, jingle my bells. She just shot him in point blank range. Nice. Yeah, he's really, he's doing great. Jeez. Santa army is getting wiped out. You will be playing Santa number 55 in the Santa Massacre. Oh, the big guy himself. Oh shoot, he's like, you know what? My mall counterparts didn't cut it, so. Only one man for the job. I've been saving these. It's like holy water? Why would you just drink that? Metamorphosis potion. Oh my. You change in your theory and throat form and retain your human intellect. Oh, interesting combination. I guess it can't hurt to try. Yeah, because that's one thing they lose when they transform, is they lose their human abilities or their human side. Yeah, the other army is going to be going from six humans to a turtle, a cheetah, a furry, who wears a hippopotamus. Oh god! Oh! Oh god! I can still think. Oh my god, it looks so inflatable. Here goes nothing. Yeah, like the cheetah and the werewolf would be cool, but oh my. She looks like she's auditioning for cats. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it's more mall Santas. Oh! Cheetah attack. <laughs> There goes your two bullets. Oh, chomping them. She's chomping Santa. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. They are very strong, or so I've been told. Whoa. 
I mean, the blood and the gore looks pretty fake, but I think that's kind of their thing, is like that campy style. And I like the comic book panel transitions as well. Oh my god! Look at those claws! Are those are the Santa Claus or Satan's claws? Oh my god, yes. It's like robot Santa alien combo. <laughs> Does Wolverine know about this? I mean, those are some fancy claws he's got. Oh, Basically. And he's like eight feet tall. So creepy. It looks like an anime character almost. Like it looks like it should be in a cartoon. Whoa! Stay behind me. You're on my list too. Wanna sit on Santa's lap, little girl? No, thank you. Hard pass. Am I on your stupid list too? I do not believe so. <laughs> Santa fights the werewolf. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, it's a showdown I didn't know I wanted, but now I can't stop watching it. We need more like Santa versus supernatural creatures. I wonder how he drives the sled without any fingers and it's just these swords. Oh! Decapitated on by Santa and your latex red onesie. Oh my. Am I on your list now, mother? Not bad. Not a bad one liner. I was personally gonna go for like more of a ho 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 reference, but. Oh, what? He regenerates? What? Very and throw powers. You'll be able to transform at will and maintain control of your inner creatures. Oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Well, he has a lot of magic. Maybe there's some left. It's worth a shot, right? Get... The magic in his lap? Uh, what kind of movie is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> make a Christmas wish, Phyllis. The most earnest and heartfelt- Hippopotamuses are actually terrifying. It's okay. <laughs> Oh. oh my. Phyllis, that's little Yachty. I don't know who that is. Denim on denim. Is he Canadian? That's the Canadian tuxedo. Set the bank and get you to hundred million dollars. Oh, okay. That works too, you know. Why not, you know? Can't take a hippopotamus to the bank. Instead. Why don't you just come to my apartment? I have a leash and a king-sized bed. Oh, my. Happy horror days. Ah, I love it. Ah. So that was my first time watching the 2020 Creep Show holiday special. Um, I definitely like the original one better. I think it's hard to compete with the original, and I love that kind of 80s campy style. This was a cool Christmas story. Um, I like how they gave Santa this really intense backstory and how he's hunting down shapeshifters. We saw the same comic book reference when they pulled back for the animated scenes. Obviously, the comic book now looks 2020 version and is updated with the cartoon stylings which I still like the 80s version better but I see why they did it that way and even when they had the transitions they had like that comic book frame around them when they switched scenes. The only cast member I really recognized was Anna Camp who was in Pitch Perfect and I believe True Blood also if I'm remembering correctly. It's been a while since I watched it um, but that was it. I didn't really recognize anybody else. I didn't think the guy who was playing the werewolf was the greatest. Some of his acting seemed a bit forced um, but I like how they had that like red blue color style as well that we saw on the original one. I think my favorite part of the whole episode is when Santa comes through the door and he's in like this red latex bodysuit like fight suit thing and he just looks so creepy and so weird and just such a I haven't ever seen a Santa dressed up like that before like typically it's you know like even if they keep the red suit that we're used to they add like blood or something to it but this was a whole new take on Santa and like I said it felt like he was out of like a comic book or like a rocket or it felt like almost sci-fi to it and he had those like elevated shoulders which just kind of remind me of like a creature
feature horror movie and then when we see him get beheaded and they sit on his lap to try and get some of the magic back so it should become a hippopotamus and it was just so goofy the way that they were all drinking this potion to now have control over their powers and they turned to this army of a pig and a turtle and a werewolf and a cheetah and then just start attacking all the mall santas i like that they kept in like the bad puns and that kind of style of writing and then even when we see him go to the doctor's office and he's got his little container of poop and just kind of like that style of humor like that's what i think is so goofy i like that they kept in the bad puns like when the teacher is saying like well i'm a cheetah and like what do we do we kick cheetahs out of school like i like that style of writing and just the goofy scenes like when he's at the doctor's office and you know pulling all the things out of him is like oh we got a button we got like this money and like what have you been doing and then we find out he's actually a werewolf and it was interesting to think that people could shapeshift into other animals like we said most of the time we've seen them it becomes a werewolf and they're like oh we've never met a werewolf before like i turned into a tortoise or i turned into a cheetah and i thought that was clever that there's like this support group for these people who shapeshift it definitely kind of reminded me of buffy a little bit when we have the werewolf and he wakes up in strange places and they usually lock oz in that book closet i think this is the first time i've seen a movie where a werewolf becomes a werewolf through being cursed instead of being bitten by another werewolf and like oh we have a cure and every other horror movie i've seen the cure to get rid of being a werewolf is basically they kill you and that's the end of it there is no cure and then of course we find out that he needs to go back to the person that cursed him but he ate that person so that's not an option. I don't even know what the body count would be in this. They killed a lot of mall Santas before the actual Kris Kringle showed up with his reindeer. It had a relatively happy ending, I guess. They were able to kill Kris Kringle, which seems like the only way you could take them out. He was saying even like their Santa suits were bulletproof. And then as a Christmas present, Ryan gave them all the ability to control their powers, which I think would be huge, especially if you're turning into something that's eating people like the cheetah and the werewolf. And it was interesting how they were only going after bad guys like that was some part of them as a human that they wouldn't kill innocent people basically or like Anna Camp's character said she's like oh I'll just go after people on the school board or the PTA board or whoever's bugging me and take them out overall I enjoyed it I definitely like the original one better but I feel like it's so hard to compete with that I thought this was a fun goofy holiday special uh, I don't know that I would watch it every year but I, I definitely like that scene where Santa comes in and you just see it was the most like badass looking Santa I have seen in a long time and just destruction everywhere and even his like makeup and his eyes are all black and they made his voice even echoey and the makeup and special effects for the creatures they were decent um the blood scenes definitely looked super fake but again I think that's kind of their thing I think that's their style so that didn't bother me but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content little white stones and fluff and his uh poopsies stop eating buttons so he's a vigilante werewolf he only kills bad guys oh and santa's at the crime scene he ate the dog can't take a hippopotamus to the bank denim on denim is he canadian that's the canadian tuxedo a turtle a cheetah a furry who wears a hippopotamus